Welcome back. We're joined by some third-year nursing students who are uh, taking part in a project to help raise the conversation about mental health. Sitting next to me, Amanda Parker in the middle, Danica Martman, and on the end from the Phoenix Centre, Sean Lewis. It's great to have you ladies here today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Yes, very welcome. Uh, let's start with you, Amanda. Maybe you can talk about the fact that you're helping to bring a play to Kamloops. It has to do with mental health. Tell us a little bit more. Sure. So it's a theatre group from Vancouver. They're touring all over BC and Alberta. They're called Theatre for Living, and the play that's coming to town is called Maladjusted. So all the cast members in Maladjusted have experience with mental health, either as patients or caregivers. Um, we're really excited to bring this play to Kamloops because um, we're hoping to destigmatize de mental health and, and make the healthcare system more humanized for people with mental illness. And this play is interactive, I understand. What yeah. does that mean exactly? So it's form, theatre style, and how that works. So the play will run through twice. The first time it, run, it runs, it just builds to a crisis and ends without any like conflict resolution. And then on the second run through the play, director David Diamond invites anybody from the audience to, if they have an, an idea on how to work through some of the conflict, they can yell out stop, get up, go up on the stage, act out their idea, or they can just say it from their seat and they will incorporate it into the play. That's cool. That's yes. really neat. How long is the play to sit through it twice? It can't be super long then, it's I guess. Or? About two hours. Wow. So yeah. people are going to be in for a full like four hours of, of this. No, or is it sorry. Not on the, same day? the first run through is, is about a half an hour, and then okay. the second run through is about an hour and a half. So it's about two hours in, in total. total. Yeah. What a great idea because it really forces people to get involved and try to find solutions to problems. Is that yeah. the idea? Yeah. yeah. So all of the dialogue that's created will be recorded and submitted into a community action report. Yep. Um, so it's really a great way for Kamloops to have a voice on how to improve um, our community and make it more supportive for people with mental illness. Awesome. Sean Lewis, Phoenix Centre, yes. how are you guys involved in this? Well, we, uh, via email, I connected with David Name with um, Theatre for Living. They were putting out the message to communities throughout BC and Alberta and trying to find hosts for the performance. So I was really excited when Kamloops had that opportunity. We were the second last community to get on a roster of 28 different communities throughout BC and Alberta. And we often partner with the university and often specifically with the School of Nursing. We've done projects with them before. So I was introduced to uh, these lovely ladies and they were eager to come on board and, and be part of this whole initiative, bringing this performance to the community. We do focus specifically on problematic substance use at Phoenix Centre, but upwards to 88% of our population also struggle with mental health issues. Mm -hmm. So it was a great fit for us. A great fit, yeah. Uh, Danica, a question for you. How is this uh, experience with getting involved with the Phoenix Center bringing this play to town how's it making you guys better nurses uh, the whole process has been quite a big learning experience for us all I think um, we've learned more about mental health stigma that surrounds it there's definitely stigma out there in our community uh, we're learning you know how to advocate for people and stand up for clients and the community right now is our clients so we're learning to empower those individuals and really um, help them find their voice in standing up for stigma. Yes, and as you go along in your nursing profession, you're going to run into this issue. It's um, everywhere. certainly, right? Uh, I think it's a great thing. The whole community has a chance to get involved and come mm -hmm. in and, and be a part of this. Let's give out some details here uh, as uh, in terms of where this is happening. Uh, March 14th at the Grand Hall, so that is coming up this weekend. Yep, this Saturday. Okay, how quickly? We're in the middle of March already. Uh, <laughs> this so, Saturday. Yeah, crazy. 7.30, uh, I've got the website, headlinestheater.com, but as well, uh, there's an Eventbrite uh, address. There it is. If you want to get some tickets, you can absolutely go online and do that. Thank you for being here. Do you want to add something else? Sure. We've got a Facebook page, mm -hmm. Maladjusted Kamloops. It's got lots of video clips on there and other things that we've been doing around town to promote it. And lots of extra information on ticket locations and stuff is on the Facebook. And uh, we will, about five minutes before the performance, we will, uh, if there's any empty seats, we'll be able to free those up. So if people want to come down last minute, they might be able to uh, come in and be part of the performance. Fantastic. I hope it's a sold out audience and I, I think it's going to be a, a great opportunity for people to get involved. Thank yes. you for being here, ladies. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Good luck with nursing school and enjoy your summer break. It's coming fast. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. We'll take a 90 second break. When we come back, we're talking about the BC Cowboy Festival, which kicks off today in Kamloops. Stay with us.